so the end of see season one if as good as I remember I ended with Fable 3 and it's been well received so I've decided we're gonna do a series so to begin off this part I do want to point out making money we did fail that one but the best way I can say to make money early is by doing pie making. You only have to do X and A, and it's only three times. Whereas doing loot, loot work, is multiple. I think the same is free for the um, blacksmith as well, blacksmithing. And compared to Fable Two, making money in this one through jobs is so much better. Because on the rotor rule, you can actually get upgrades for jobs. I want to get to about one seven, and then we're going to spend our money. Mm, Due to the fact that I'm going to buy some housing if I can. That's some tasty. I can't remember if we got all the landlord pack at all, or if we still need to get that later. Also, it does pop up sometimes, they go, money from jobs, it's saying. Funny enough, it's actually saying my other Xbox account before this account was made. So it actually tell you how good you don't compare to friends. Probably get to 2k and then we'll... Go see if we can buy some of the dwellers housing, I think it is, that's the cheapest. Because we want to make some money early. I might keep that one for myself. We want to make some good money quite early. Because we are going to be using our money later when we get to the point where we are the ruler. We're gonna use a lot of our money to do the stuff that you can do as the ruler. So I do want to go to here. Dwellers. Zoom in on the dwellers camp. Can I buy it? Buy and rent out. Home is where the heart is, as they say. Uh, it should repair. also be where you have your best furnishings. Now, have you given any thought to redecorating? Buy and rent out. Repair. This one we can buy and rent out. Those will make us money. And as we buy more of them, we will end up making more and more money. But we need to go see Walter. Find the bandits and guys. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries to be mercenaries, not the set. They're led by a man called Saker. He used to be a soldier but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. His men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so it won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Come with me. Jimmy, I believe this guy's name is. One of the mercenaries. Oh, Clarence. Oh, but everyone calls him Jimmy, yes, that. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweights, if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. Hmm... Stains apart products sound like sick. Hmm. You're not likely dressing room. Pop the outfit on. To convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure you can get hold of what you need around town though. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. 
They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. Oh, I did remember. But I know you There's a book. Marcus Ivy was the fourth One of those two of thirty books now. However, and this fact diminished his importance, so he insisted that the letters after his name were merely an oddly spelled. Like the dwellers are the cheapest place what to you buy housing. You're paying top gold. Need some help there. Some new garments have been added to your wardrobe. That beard should be a real boon if you're seeking a job in the technology sector. There we go. But it looks horrible. Have you seen a mirror lately? Find Captain Saker. There we go, we are nearly there. Nearly at the bandit the mercenary camp. Hi, Jimmy. Back from killing some dwellers. Come on in. In we go. You can, in fact, if I remember right. Shoot the dude. That gets him out of the way. But let's keep going. You've been up too much lately. Nah. Nah, hmm. I mean neither. I sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Why didn't you? Well, I never saw Ooh, myself as a sugar salesman. And it wasn't really feasible after I killed him and all. Oh, Jim. Hey, Jimmy, over here. And the rain falls down. Jimmy, over here, mate. Don't be shy, Jimmy. Come on over. Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do. You know, the thing. What thing? Yeah, what thing? Fart. Knockout. Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh. I did spot the chest right there as well. You can grab that. It's a health potion. Is there something at the top of the tower? I can't remember. And it's just him. Yeah, we're not worried about killing these dudes. Roll over, you stupid. Let's get the treasure that's up here. I know there's treasure up here. I can tell you can handle a gun. How did you know I can handle a gun? I'm hitting you with my weapon. It makes no sense. Bit of extra money. We did also already get a payout as well from the dwellers. We need to make sure the dwelling dweller houses are kept in good condition so that they can keep giving us the full amount of money every time. And then with what money we get from those, we'll spend that on buying more, on more housing. Alright Jim, how's things? You've been drinking in Brightwall again? And don't let anybody tell you, drinking alone is wrong. That's some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. I've that. You'll have to try harder. Remember, right? That is. 
treasure. There it is. There's quite a bit I do remember about the game. Like where certain things are. Yeah, I didn't take much notice of what that was. I think that's what's in this area. Yeah, so what's around here? Jimmy, that really you? You look different somehow. Were your eyes always that colour? Nah, Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him. It's not Jimmy. They know. Kill him. Shoot them down. That's one guy down. There we go. They now know we're not Jimmy. So they will all be trying to fight us on our way to get to Saker. Kill me. Kill all of you. That's them dealt with. If I do remember right. I want to say there was a key at the top of this tower. Oh, it's a chest at the top of this one. There's another tower, I think it is, that has a key at the top. There's no chest tattoo. I think... Can I break it? You can't get in there. This meant to be a shop. But no one ever lives in it or goes in there, I mean. Remember, right? There we go. Break that door down and get in. I think the reason we can get in the other door is because we had friendly fire turned on. So that we could not hurt civilians and that sort of stuff. So let's try again there again. Nothing in here anyway. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's he barking at? Big spot. Right in front of the enemy barricade. Left leg. Jimmy and dead. He's very drunk. I don't seem to understand that though. Did 
Jimmy and Dad. That door's locked. Oh, did that bullet go? Come on, that dude, come on. Ah, oh, there's the king I was thinking of. And anything at the top of the tower? No, just a drum. You're nearly at Saker, if I remember right. They made that easy. The chest. No. On to Seika. I don't want to break into here. No, nothing actually useful in here. you. That's where we got to go in there. Get this chest open. Because the fun is about to begin. Dig spot. So we're about to meet the mighty Saker. Here we go. Leave him. He's mine. You've left quite a trail of bodies. You're not one of Sabine's dwellers, that's for damn sure. But you'll die like one. Well, I know. Too easy. You mean hollow man? I'm gonna be a hollow man. Something tells me I don't think so. Everyone who dares to strike me dies. Well, I haven't striked you. Mom. 
Come on in. Let's see if you're really good. Come on. Can you just die already, Seiko? This is the one thing I didn't like about this one. No health bars. There we go. Let's take it out with. Stop! You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Spare him. It's a good choice to make. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! Then we can step into the portal. To go back to the road to rule. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. And I believe, is it this one we get upgrades for the jobs? Lover expression, family pack, blacksmithing upgrade, pie maker. I want the pie maker for definite at the moment. And this is upgrade for weapons, right? Yes. So we're going to grab this one. I'll upgrade the damage of our weapon. Spend that on the level one. Grab the family pack. I'm gonna grab all these lower packs. And now look at my weapon. My weapon has changed in its look. That one, you also get an achievement for collecting every single box on the road to rule. So let's return to Brightwall. It is a momentous occasion, sir. Your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say, based on the fact that you're not dead, you acquitted yourself rather well. It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that have been set for you. If you return to Brighton, you will find someone hmm. who has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. Let's see Walter. Is that normal? Ah, uh, yes. The special ingredient of our... Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace now. Of course. Nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. I, I mean, of course. Uh, the thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, uh, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep, and we face shortages more often than is comfortable. But? But, were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. 
What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. So we're going to quickly go to ah, the sanctuary. An excellent way to gain followers is by helping village. You can now see the villagers in need. You can so also got see chaser. how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel play. and the people of Brightwall. And gnomes Select are great. To help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. If we can amass enough money, we can buy the stools here as well. Choose yeah, that's who we'll be choosing. So, we'll gain you followers. Choose this guy, and that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. By completing quests if, for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. If people have enjoyed and they haven't already, they can drop a like down below. Also... Drop, if you're a fan of Fable or not, drop a comment down below on what your favourite Fable is and why that's your favourite Fable game. Because I may take a look at all three of them all over again. Including, or the other two, including this one, I should say. But for now, if you're watching, I'll see everyone next time.